And welcome back to Studio D, your daily dose of news and entertainment. I'm Sue Ann Robinson. Coming up right now, Hollywood is a buzz as Dave Franco and Allison Brie pull off the near impossible. Plus, we're taking a look at Tim Tebow's spring training progress. We've got all that and more right here on Studio D. Thanks for joining us. I'm Warren Wright. I'm Vanessa Ray. All right, you know what? I really want Tim Tebow to succeed. You know, I like Tim Tebow. He's a very positive guy. He is. I would love him for him to do well. So it'll be really, I'm looking forward to the story yeah. about him. In the meantime, do you play much lotto? Do you do um, a little bit of gambling? I don't. At 7 Eleven? I, I know people who do, and maybe I should, <laughs> but I don't. When I tell you this story, you're going to be like, yeah, I need to. The winner of last month's $435 million Powerball drawing is choosing, however, to remain anonymous. He's a winner, but he's not gonna talk about it. Indiana law allows jackpot prizes to be claimed by a limited liability corporation or a legal trust, thus allowing winners to remain anonymous. Those who know his identity are very few. The winner is very family oriented and close to his siblings and parents. He plans, says a representative, to help family members pay for their education and maybe earn an advanced degree himself. He anticipates making donations to charity, but he's made no decisions at this time. The jackpot was the 10th largest in the United States history. And wow. they did ask them if he was going to keep his job. And he said, you know, at first he thought he was going to keep it, but then he thought, you know, there are other people that really need a job. Right. And so he was going to step aside and let them have it. Well, a few things there. One, <laughs> wow, he's so lucky that he won it, right? Right. And why don't more people not tell people when they win the lottery? We always see lottery stores and people, you see the people who won. Right. I wouldn't want to tell people. I wouldn't either. Keep that but secret. You, you know, there's a lot of states where you don't have the option. Right. You're like, I think in Florida, you, you have, to. have to come clean and everyone has to know. But then, you know, I, I, if I, I want, I'd want to be anonymous. So would I. I, I wouldn't want everyone I've ever known, like, bring yeah. Vanessa. Hey, hey. But I love that this guy is going to continue his education and help his family members yeah. who are in school. Very sweet. Yeah. Good guy. Because he could just, like, quit everything. And, I mean, traveling would be great, but mm -hmm. he could just be buying stuff. But instead, he's investing in education. You bet. Yeah. I love that. Well, employers in European countries can ban the wearing of Islamic headscarves. The European Court of Justice, the EU's top court, said it's up to employers to decide whether to ban the visible wearing of religious, political, and philosophical symbols by their employees. The court concluded that a ban on Islamic headscarves arrive, arising from an international, from an internal rule, sorry, does not constitute direct discrimination based on religion or belief within the meaning of the directive. Some women of Islamis, Islamic faith wear a scarf to present their spiritual purity. In many countries, women are not allowed out in public without the wearing of the head covering. Men are not required to wear similar covering. You know what? I think if it's actually like a, a requirement for a woman and not a man, mm -hmm. then I, I don't feel that that's spiritual. I feel like that that's, you know, gender. And well, then, so I think it's a complex, that's an issue. Yeah, it's a complex issue. I actually did a piece on this when okay. I worked for MTV News. And we went and met with some young women who, um, this was around 9 11, who mm -hmm. had decided to take off their hijab. Um, not, not because of anything that was going on. Um, but they did say that it was very difficult, and I think this is something that's going on now because it it makes them a target. Mm. Um, however, they said that what they liked about it was it sort of, like for instance, they were in school. So it was less about them as women or sexual objects, and it was right. more about you're just talking to me as a person and seeing me as a person as opposed to seeing me as a woman. Right. It so, didn't gender identify. So it, kind of, it leveled the playing so field. So that's one thing that they liked about it. What's interesting in this case with the EU court is that it's not something that customers can complain about, and the companies that are deciding to have hijab or not, it has to be um, neutral dress for all employees. Right. Yeah. yeah, I get that. All right, well, President Trump signed a tough ethics rule in January, but now the question is, does it even hold water? One congressman doesn't think so. It bars administration officials from lobbying their former agencies or lobby on behalf of a foreign government for about five years. But unlike Obama, Trump refuses to publicly report whether or not he is granting any waivers. As one congressman said, ethics doesn't work in secret. 
Trump's disgraced national security advisor, Michael Flynn, didn't last long in the Trump administration, but he made a lot of money representing foreign governments, which he did not reveal in his disclosure to Congress. Now, Congress wants to know, is Flynn black in his old job? With the president's permission, Trump has so far refused to answer that question. So now in the meantime, let's go check in with Sue Ann Robinson and find out what's the latest in celebrity buzz. Sue Ann. Ooh, well, sounds like the president's in hot water. Thanks, Warren and Vanessa. Right now, Hollywood is a buzz over Dave Franco and Allison Brie. Apparently, they have done what many celebrities dream of get secretly married. Reps for the actors confirm that the couple have tied the knot. Franco and Brie, who met at the 2011 Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans, announced their engagement in August 2015. After more than three years of dating, Brie, who next stars in Netflix Glow Out, explained to Yahoo last February, marriage never really interests me, and I guess because I was very focused on my work, I wasn't sure if I really saw the point to it. I bought a dress on Netta Porter, and I'm like, maybe I'll wear that no word yet on what changed her mind about marriage seems as if Ed Sheeran has a doppelganger in the form of a prince Prince Harry left a group of schoolgirls giggling after they asked him if he was the real royal or pop star Ed Sheeran the royal was chatting with students from Francis Holland School in Regent's Park as he approached the line of about 70 flag waving pupils the prince stopped to speak to a 12 year old girl who told him that he looked like fellow redhead Sheeran. Harry laughed before, before sharing the exchange with the Dean of Westminster, who was walking alongside him. Stay tuned for more celebrities buzz. Back to you guys. All right, those famous redheads causing absolutely, trouble. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's a busy time in the sports world, so we're gonna take it back to George, who's gonna fill us all in. Thank you, Vanessa Warren. Today we have a Tim Tebow update. That's right. Tebow, who's playing, playing with the New York Mets during training camp, got his first hit the other day. And here it is. After starting spring training 0 for 8, Tebow finally put one between third and the shortstop and got on base. And it seemed like everyone was loving it because the crowd went nuts. And continuing with baseball, check out this gutsy fan's strategy to get the foul ball before anyone else does. Just one misstep and he could be collecting teeth instead of that ball. Can you believe that? <laughs> Vanessa Warren, I'm tossing it back to you guys. All right, coming up, we have more stuff for you on Studio D. That was impressive, that guy's. If you want to shed the fat and sculpt your core to get those sexy toned abs of your dreams, then stop doing sit-ups. Say what? And start dancing with Hip Hop Abs, the fun new ab sculpting system from insanity creator Sean T. I don't want you to ever get down on the floor to do crunches again. I'm gonna break it down so you burn the fat and sculpt those abs fast. Just do Sean's easy to follow moves to work your upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, and obliques, all while you're dancing. I went from a size 18 to a size two. I have abs now, I've got a six pack. And now the complete $80 hip hop abs system is 75% off. That's right, hip hop abs is only $19.95. We'll even upgrade you to express shipping free. Get the complete hip hop abs system for only $19.95. Call 1-800-364-0573 or order online at GetHipHopAbs.com. That's 1-800-364-0573. Call now. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Hi, I'm George Foreman. People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can provide patent referrals and submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee your company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. 
For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-334-9146. That's 1-800-334-9146. All right, welcome back to Studio D. I'm Warren Wright with Vanessa here, and today are joining us as host of the exciting news web series called Workation, Bobby Seller. Thank you so much for coming out here. All really right. appreciate Hi. it. Thank you. All right, so um, let's see. Let, let me ask you first, though, a question here. So we've seen the first two episodes of Workation on yes. YouTube. So tell us, how's everything going so far? Uh, everything's great. A lot of traveling. We're back in the States to reset. Uh, pretty exhausting, um, yeah. spending most of our time living in the air. So between China and she came back from California, we've just been traveling all around the world. So, I mean, like, what, you have a laptop and Wi-Fi, you're good I to go. I have iPads, I have laptops, <laughs> I have Apple Watches, I have everything. But uh, we, we find a way to make it happen. What's your favorite place that you've traveled to for this series? For this series yeah. so far? Uh, Hong Kong. I really like Hong Kong. I like China. But we're going to the Middle East on Thursday. Oh, exciting. Yes. You are. So in a couple okay. days, we're going to go to the Middle East, and it's going to be amazing. Wait you see the footage that we shoot over there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, I mean, you, you're actually, you know, your team is coming up for you and a workation team, huh? Some people work nine to five every day in a cubicle. Seller works 24 hours a day by navigating time zones. Very cool. I thought you were going to bungee jump off there. It looked like you were uh, ready to. I'm not going to give that away. That's going to be another episode. <laughs> You've got lots of things planned, huh? Oh, uh, we do. We are actually setting up meetings. Um, a lot of people have asked, well, you know, you're doing this, but how do we, how do we learn how to conduct business? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you how to do this on camera. Uh, we're back in the States giving a lot of things away, all my material possessions, but then I'm going to turn around and get it all back from nothing. Because you're sort of living the dream, right? Being able to sort of be on the road, experiencing life, but maybe getting some work done as well. Right, it is, but the idea is to show people how to do it for free or close to it. So from staying to hostels for $11 a night, yeah. to be able to rip myself from everything, but then show you how to do it yourself, so. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. All right, now we also saw a video about a Bentley you've decided to break free from. How do we get a chance to get our hands on that? Right, uh, I can't give you too many details. The attorneys <laughs> are drafting the rules, but what I can tell you is that we're gonna have a talent contest. So we're gonna yeah. submit it, and on Christmas Day, that's what we're going for, we're gonna give away my Bentley. Wow. Really? Yes. So wh wh what do people have to do to get this Bentley? Uh, I'm gonna give you the rules, just follow us. Uh, remember, everybody who follows us uh, is part of this journey, which makes us successful and impacts the world. So. So, like, if you watch your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. yeah, what, what they're going to learn is how to run their own business and or and how to travel and not be like stuck in a cubicle. Right. So it, it's it's traveling. It's not being stuck in a cubicle, but it's going to every country without even learning the language, mm -hmm. and 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 sowing seeds everywhere in being able to create these business relationships on partnerships, trade partnerships. Hey, if I have an idea that costs me nothing and then we work out a deal, I can make that successful and bring it to market and show you how to do that, that's not gonna cost you anything. Now it's a joint partnership without any actual money. Mm -hmm. Let the manufacturers use their resources, we use our minds, and then together we make money and give back and you know, impact the world. So you're kind of like Shark Tank, where you're actually helping people? Well, I'm, you're I'm actually investing yourself? Yeah. I'm actually swimming with sharks. I, I, don't, I don't sit behind <laughs> a stage, so uh, we're actually really there doing it. Okay, so have you ever gotten scared in, in, at any point in your adventure so far? Sure, so you know, the word venture, like business venture, comes from business adventure. So mm -hmm. it's always a little bit scary, but it's about stepping outside your comfort zone and leaving. So when we go to the Middle East in two days, we're gonna be about a thousand feet from ISIS border on the same side. So wait till you see what we do there. Interesting, yeah. wow. all right. Okay, so we know that you, you got trained by a Kung Fu master, correct? Uh, I did, yes, by one of In the Shaolin Temple. In the Shaolin Temple. Uh -huh. And if you're gonna do it, do it to the extreme. Yeah. Okay, so Sounds George good. is dying to okay. learn and get, get some lessons. Sure. So you ready? Are you ready to be all? a sensei? I'll, I'll, I'll teach a couple things, okay. so yeah, why not? All right, let's get out of the way here. All right, George. Oh, I've been dying to do this for a while yes. already. Let's just take my jacket I beat off. Two, two local Chinese people, we'll see how you do. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Oh, man. Okay. So uh, I'll show you three things that I learned. Okay. Um, one of the things I learned in Hong Kong. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
It's, it's about really finding your center. Okay. So if you think about your thoughts, you have 60,000 thoughts a day, you kind of just want to clear your mind. So the idea here is to just kind of break away and clear your center, so your negative thoughts and everything, and just come to a place where you're just there. I'm there. Okay, got it? Okay, so I'm that's one. There. So just kind of clear your... Oh, man. Ooh. Okay, good. Very oh, good. Wait. I don't want to. I don't want to bother you guys, but I think we're gonna have to get straight to the nunchucks. Okay. Well, yeah. well that, that's yeah. coming. Oh. 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 Are, are we there yet? You want to go there? Yeah. Okay. We yeah, go. we're there yet. Okay. Oh, there you go. You yeah. got to show me how to sure. do this. So the idea here, the easiest way, is not just to swing them around, but kind of roll it over your hand. Oh. Where you're rolling it back. See, so everybody who's been so doing it the opposite point. way, you've yeah. been doing it wrong your so entire you get to life. To a point where you're actually there. So. Oh man. Oh, if you don't man. mind, I'm just going to stand oh. over here. Bobby Seller, everyone, thank you for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> thank you for joining us. You can find uh, more on YouTube at uh, work slash, <laughs> what is it? Workation TV. TV. There yeah. it is. Thank you for coming around, man. <laughs> Stick around. We got more Studio D when we return. Yeah, yeah, Wait.